250 mass shootings, an astounding number, but just one shooting can make a huge impact on any one of us. Dr. Laura Saunders from the Institute of Living joins us now. And Dr. Saunders specializes in psychology, working with patients, uh, dealing with everything from anxiety disorder to post-traumatic stress disorder. Doctor, first, thanks for joining us. In, in light of these two most recent mass shootings, how do we deal with the grief and anxiety these horrific events can cause? Well, Kevin, uh, I think it's really important to note that we here in Connecticut have a personal relationship uh, to a mass shooting, and I think it makes it a little bit more uh, delicate for us. I always say there's degrees of separation in terms of how far or how much, how connected you feel to an event, and uh, in many ways, in this state, it really stirs up a lot of very raw feelings for people. Well, let's talk about that connection, Doctor. I mean, these shootings took place, you know, hundreds if not thousands of miles away from us here in Connecticut, but they can still make a big impact on us. Why is that? Well, so it's, we consider it to be like triggering. So anyone that's experienced a loss or had any kind of significant trauma can certainly feel triggered by an event like this, especially an event that feels very much out of people's control. So the more we can do to uh, bring some sense of, of normalcy or control back into our lives, that can be really helpful in difficult times like this. Doctor, what message can we send to our kids when these mass shootings occur? Well, I think the, the most difficult thing is that we can't promise that nothing bad will ever happen, but we can provide assurance. The assurance is that uh, we do our best as communities, our, our police, our firefighters, security, school administrators, they do their best to um, keep us sa safe and have you know, safety measures in place. So the assurance is we will do our best. But it's also that we need to focus on what we do have control over, being good to the people around us, letting people around us know that we care for each other, and you know, going about the, the aspects of our lives so that we don't get caught up in the anxiety of a terrible event like this. Yeah, open communication is so important. Dr. Laura Saunders Absolutely. from Hartford HealthCare and the Institute of Living, thank you for your time, doctor. And for the latest on the